What's going on guys, Bass Mouth here bringing you a Halo Infinite video. Today we are talking about crosshair placement, but before we get into it, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video today or learn something new. Also, join our Discord channel in the description. We play Halo Infinite rank together. Doesn't matter what rank you are, doesn't matter where you're at skill-wise, come have fun with us. The basic idea behind crosshair placement and why it is so good and useful to practice is because there is a time it takes for your crosshair to get to an enemy and the less time it takes for your crosshair to actually reach the enemy is more time that you're actually shooting the enemy. So if you have your crosshair trained where the enemy is going to be before they're there and they peek into it, you are able to start damaging them way quicker than they are able to damage you as they will have to adjust their crosshair for you. So anyway, back on topic, let's talk crosshair placement. Basically, what crosshair placement is, is just wherever your crosshair is on the screen. You do not want to be looking at the ground or the sky or into walls or at teammates. You want to have your crosshair focused on wherever the enemy is going to be next, wherever you think that most likely is. You want to have your crosshair trained at about body level. You do not want to train for the head. I am very guilty of this as to multiple other shooters I've played. I'm trained to aim for the head. I've trained myself to aim for the head. So that's something I also need to personally work on. But because there is no headshot multipliers, you want to have your crosshair trained on wherever an enemy body could peek you from, most likely. Moving around the map in this way can be adjustment for some players who aren't used to it. So if you are struggling with keeping your crosshair placement good in matches, it is good to just get in a private lobby and just move around the map for five minutes practicing, focusing on where your crosshair is placed at all times. You should be moving in reference to where your crosshair is placed, in reference to where the enemy threat could be. So I know it was a quick video today. It is not that complicated. It is just something you have to take a little time, be mindful in practice. I have to take a little time, be mindful in practice. Doesn't matter if you're the best Halo player in the world. Nobody has perfect crosshair placement. You can always improve. Remember to like and subscribe if you learned something new or enjoyed the video today. Catch you guys in the next one.